All right, Shalom. I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. And much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity, and salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect believing on the words of Yahweh Bahashem. Yeah, Rashad, this is your brother Davida, coming to you in a lesson, and Lord willing, it's edifying. And things are, are, are speeding up, man. Things are heating up out here, all right? You got uh, famines approaching, okay, uh, civil war, unrest of the people, but also World War Three, man, all right? And the scriptures speak of it coming quickly. Matter of fact, Revelation Chapter 11 and verse 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Right? The third world war is coming quickly, man. And I have a series of articles I would like to share. All right? And, and, and it's centered around what? The Middle East, man. All right? The Valley of Jehoshaphat, where well, these things are going to take place. Okay? Now, earlier. Uh, Earlier, uh, or late last month, earlier this week, you had Israel, all right, the state of Israel, bomb, I want to say, uh, a Hezbollah, as they say, a Hezbollah leader, all right, which is causing these Iranian or these uh, Islamic nations, all right, to, to band together, man, okay? And, and the scriptures talk about the least of the flock should drop, matter of fact. What is that? Jeremiah? Is it? Let's see. Yeah. So the things the prophesied of old are, are taking place right before our eyes, man. Let's see. Yep, that's it. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 45. Therefore hear ye the counsel of the Lord that he have taken against Babylon yeah, America, Babylon the Great, and his purposes that he have purpose against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Who is the least of the flock? Israel, man, the state of Israel, those 1948ers, the small hats. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. See that? So is the Lord, you have my shout, shout plans, all right? To, to have the least of the flock, all right, cause this thing for World War Three, all right, to, to, to take place in the earth, man. And we seeing it take place. Let's get into these articles. This is from End Time Headlines. It says, Iran allies plan large-scale attack on Israel within 72 hours. See, the war drums are beating, man. Things are getting quicker, you know. The Lord is, is executing his plan, right? It says Iran and his allies are preparing a large, excuse me, are preparing to launch a large-scale attack on Israeli forces within 72 hours. CNN reported according to a warning from the U.S. Department of Defense officials, right? So now you got America trying to come to the defense of uh, 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 the Israelis, man. You see? As we just read in the scripture, the least of the flock is going to draw them out. All right? It says, the heightened alert follows the recent assassination of Ishmael, or Ismail Hanayi, however you pronounce his name, the head of Hamas Political Bureau in Tehran. The assassination significantly raised the stakes in the ongoing aggression between Israel and resistance groups in the region. See? So all that thing is going to do is heat it up. It's speeding up the time, man. And again, it's going to draw the least, uh, the least of the flock is going to draw Babylon into this world conflict. All right? Again, we read in Revelation 11, it says the third woe come up quickly it says u.s again this is again from anti-headline 
I'm a little excited, man. When you see prophecy on the forefront, it 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 uh <laughs> it shows us that the end is near. All right. So I'm a little excited. It's like you. It says U.S. deploys at least twelve warships <laughs> to Middle East amid soaring tensions. See that. The U.S. has deployed at least 12 warships to the Middle East, including the aircraft carrier USS Theodore Roosevelt, amphibious assault teams, and over 4,000 Marines and sailors in response to escalating tensions in the region following the assassination of Hamas leader. Yeah, we just read it, man. Again, prophecy is playing out. Just as the Lord said it was going to do. Why? Because these are his plans. Okay? Now, this last one is from uh, the People's Voice. It says, Iran orders direct attack on Israel. The Iranian government has ordered a direct attack on Israel in retaliation for killing the Hamas leader, Ismail Haniyi. In Tehran, see, it is believed that Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Allah, ordered the attack during the emergency meeting of Iran's Supre Su uh, Supreme National Security Council, according to New York Times. See, this thing is heating up, man. And again, the Lord is the one who orchestrating this. Matter of fact, let's go to the book of Joel. This is his plans. All nations are going to reverence Jehovah by Shabbat Shai in that day, man. Joel, chapter 3. And let's start this in verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the nations. Prepare war. Wake up to mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. See that? Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong, right? These nations have invested in weaponry. They have put all their, their resources and their backings behind weapons. Why? Because it's the plan of the Lord. Remember, Scripture say that the... Matter of fact, what is that? Um... Proverbs 21, right? Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Now, we go into that word heart. It's the Hebrew word law, which means your mind. So the king's mind is in the hand of the Lord, right? As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So it's your how by shout shots plan, all right, for these nations to go to war, man. You see? Joel, chapter 3, and uh, let's read verse 10 again. Beat your plowshares and the swords and your pruning hooks and the spears. Let the weak say, I am strong, right? You got North Korea talking big shit. It was at one point in time where they were the weak, man. Well, they, they have invested <laughs> in weaponry, man. So much so that the agriculture is suffering, as we as we just read. It says, assemble yourselves and come, all you heathen. Gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause the mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be awakened and come to the valley of Jehoshaphat. See that? Yeah, Armageddon, man. See? For there... Will I sit to judge all the heathen round about? See that? So the Lord is gonna gather you into that to that area, the Levant. All right. So so he can uh issue out uh death and destruction, man. See? It says, put in the sickle, for the harvest is right. And we know according to the scriptures that the harvest is the end of the world. Matter of fact, what is that? Um Matthew Let's see, Matthew 13, I want to say, and 44. Um, let me see. Um, let me 
Let's see, maybe 34. Nope. Um, please bear with me. Mm, I want to, I, I know it's Matthew. Damn. It's a lot. Hair with a soul. Mm. All right, let's see. Okay, the wheat and the tears. All right. All right, Matthew chapter 13 and verse 30, let both grow up, excuse me, let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, gather ye first the tares and bind them in bundles and burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Yeah, the, the, the wheat is the elect, man. The tear is going to be burned up in thermonuclear fire. All right. The results of World War Three, which you're reading about. Now. Let me see something. OK. There it is. I should have just read down a little bit more. It's a lot. Matthew chapter 30, 13 and verse 39. The enemy that sold them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, see? And the reapers are the angels, see that? So yeah, this harvest we're reading about, all right, in Joel is the end of the world, man. You see? The end of what world? Esau's world, that, that current age, that current eon. Matter of fact, let's see something. Let's get that word world. Right? Yeah, see, aeon, eon, Strong's G165, man, which is a period of time. All right? The, the, the age of Esau, basically. You see? Let's go back to Joel. So the harvest is the end of the world. All right. Joel chapter three and verse 13. It says, put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. See, the harvest is ripe, man. Come get you down for the press is full. The fats overflow. For wickedness is great, and indeed, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. That's the reason why the Lord is going to come and deaden this place by that thermonuclear fire, that second cleansing agent. You see, it says the multitudes, excuse me, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Yeah, man. See, it's going to be a beautiful day. When, when wickedness is taken out of the planet Earth, man. And it's going to culminate. It's going to be uh, brought forth through World War Three, man. And we see it. All right. Those three articles letting us know that things are speeding fast to that point. Right. Matter of fact. Let's go to the book of Second Israel. All right. Chapter 16. And, yep, let's start at verse 17. It says, woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? Yeah, the days that we are approaching. They're fastly coming. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars, see? 
and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? And we're at the coast of it, man. These evils presenting themselves. All right. You're going to see a, a, a lot more horrific judgment go out. All right. You want to see the draft. I've seen a video of a dude receiving a letter for the draft, man. These things are right there on the table. Okay. And, and guess what? They're going to they're gonna blossom in this perfection. So I pray this has been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach Wadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing, coming at you another lesson. Till the next time I 